What is DesignSpark? What does it do? What is it used for? In this video, I'll give you an introduction to DesignSpark and why I use it. DesignSpark is a suite of free programs geared towards electrical and PC board design. I have used this suite of programs for years designing printed circuit boards and then later on my mechanical parts. This software is provided for free by a company based in Europe as a marketing tool to sell electrical components. But the marketing aspect is so very minimal, I have no complaints at all since it's so useful and did I mention it's free to use? So DesignSpark Mechanical is the 3D modeling part of their software and it is made to interface and interact with all of the other uh, tools that they have in their suite of programs uh, and it was originally released just to do the enclosures for your circuit boards so that you could visualize how your project was going to come together. Now it has features for making detailed drawings and all of that type of thing but they are part of a paid add-on uh, and I really never need it. If, if I was going to be making drawings that I had to send out to a shop to outsource my mechanical uh, design or get something made from some outside shop, then I'd probably look at buying the add-on so that I could send them detailed drawings. But since I can pull up all of my own uh, designs, it's easy to get measurements for and see the different uh, viewpoints of my design straight from the um, user interface and you know I can always do a screen capture and then spit that out on a piece of paper if I need to take something out to the shop for measurements for cutting and the like. So you can go to their website and you can download and install the software for free. You do have to register with them and create an account but that's a real small price to pay for the free software that you get uh, and have access to all the other software that they provide as well. In this video, I'm not going to cover the download and installation of their software. They support that really well with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. We're going to go ahead and jump right ahead. We've already installed it on our computer and been running it, um, and we're going to start from there. DesignSpark has been my go-to for the last few years for all of my 3D modeling and project design. I do want to make an honorable mention about uh, other softwares that I've used in the past. You know, I've used SketchUp for years as well and it does have its place. Um, it's pretty quick and easy to learn, uh, but it has its limitations and it seems like throughout time it has become less and less free or has had less and less uh, features that are available for free. So. I've kind of steered away from using SketchUp uh, recently and have more focused on just using the DesignSpark. And the next one that I wanted to talk about is FreeCAD. We're going to be doing a whole series of videos on FreeCAD as well. I do still use it. It has a bigger learning curve, I think, in my opinion, but it also has uh, features for making your tool paths and doing the CAM functions for turning my designs, my 3D model designs into G-code for running on say a CNC machine or for doing sheet metal parts. That's got a lot of tools and we'll go a lot more into uh, detail on FreeCAD in later videos. Some of the important features uh, in DesignSpark that are very important to me is that it is free to use both personally as hobby and also professionally for commercial purposes. Uh, the program is very, very powerful uh, for being able to do your designs and, and change them into, say, 3D printing files and all of that. It does have a learning curve. Uh, there's a lot of information and a lot of different tools that are available in the program. Uh, but that's what this channel is all about. So uh, the biggest benefit, I think, in the software itself is the ability to save small components as individual designs and then you can import them into later designs as components and it saves them separately so that you can make assemblies in DesignSpark. And that to me is a big feature over, say, SketchUp, for instance, where once you put your components into a file, 
it is all one file and it doesn't really have the ability to do assemblies nothing like what uh, is offered from DesignSpark. DesignSpark can be very overwhelming when you first start. It has a pretty big learning curve because there are so many different tools and buttons and features and indicators on the user interface that uh, it's, it's really hard to determine where to start. But that is what this channel is for. Uh, I'm here to show you and share all of my experience with using the software and uh, I'm going to take you step by step through all of the different processes of starting from scratch to having a completed 3D model and design. So in a nutshell, DesignSpark is my go-to for all of my modeling and I model up every project that I do. I, I model up projects for 3D printing and even I even model up 2x4s for making storage sheds and building buildings and you know anything I'm gonna to go to build I'm gonna model it first so that I know exactly how the parts go together and there are no surprises when I go to build it so do you use design spark or maybe you use a different program for all of your modeling leave a comment for the video uh, and let me know what you use I'd be really interested to know you never know I might find a new favorite program this channel is all about sharing and fabrication so you can check out the playlists on my channel where all of the videos are organized into groups of like content. And then, of course, if you like the video, subscribe, like it, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you're up to date with all of the new videos as I post them.